Welcome back to Bees Blades. I'm Brian and welcome first timers and welcome back to all my subscribers. We're gonna go another knife further into the rabbit hole. So if you like knife, if you like knife content, unboxings, reviews, you've come to the right place. So we have yet another Civivi. Yeah, I know, another Civivi. Um, we're gonna go ahead and check this out. Um, find a tiny little knife to open it up here. So this is the Civivi Brazen. It's the new Civivi Brazen. It has the Sandvik 14C28 steel, which is really cool because it seems like everything I was getting was in D2. And not that there's anything wrong with D2, but this is going to be a more corrosion resistant steel. And like I've said before, if you've never got a CVV, that's the box you get it in. There's not a whole lot to it. And this is the package you get a CVV in. Collect the whole set. Check it out. So sometimes you get, um, if you're getting a new, a new CVV, you'll either get these or these really cool stickers. Where's the other ones? Um... Well, I don't know what I did with all the other ones, but you'll get, there's a, a couple different variations. All right, uh, here it is. Or you'll get one of these, if you like stickers. Get the owl or the dragon. Okay, you get a little, a small little insert. There's not a whole lot to it. Instructions before use. And a nice cloth to clean your blade with, to clean your bee's blades with. Now, of course, the inside of your uh, package is really nice. Here it is. The brazen. And I got the burgundy. Got a little bit of oil on there. So there's, there's a look at this side. I'll flip it over. There is a look at that side. Now let's see what the blade looks like. I got this knife at uh, Knife Center for, uh, I think it was $49.80. Uh, there's different variations with a black or a purple G10 scale. And there's a black, green, brown micarta with Damascus for around 85 bucks. Um, if you are interested in a brazen, when you go to get it, make sure you pay attention to which brazen you're getting because one version has the D2 steel and one has the 14 C28 in. It's a pretty attractive knife. Here's your liners, which are milled out. And there's also a backspacer, a G10 backspacer from Burgundy. And it looks like, and you know, instead of putting a hole through the end, they put the lanyard hole up here, which is totally cool. I use a lanyard on some of my knives, usually for a uh, function. So there is the Civivi Brazen, our first look at that. All right, let's see how much it weighs. We'll do some specs and then get in a little further. How much does she weigh? We'll, uh, we'll do some specs and ergos and give you guys an idea if this is a knife you wanna purchase. 3.77. So it's under that four mark. So 3.77. Your blade length. Uh, let's see. Where is? Here is. Let's see. So I'll go off of their specs and we'll check a couple for ourselves. Blade length is uh, 3.46 inches, which looks like 3.46 is going to be right at uh, pretty much the same length. And they are right on it. It's, you know, right at the three and a half mark for three and a half inch blade. Um, your closed length is 4.52 inches. So let's see. Yeah, it's about, it's a little over four and a half inches. Just a little. Just a little over the four and a half. Um, overall length, 7.9 inches. So it's just under that eight inch mark, which it is. It's, it's eight inches. And your blade, like I said, is 14C28 in steel. Your blade thickness is 0.118. We will check that real quick. 
and see if it is in fact or see what we get see what the blade stock thickness is here I'm getting 0.11 so maybe I got a thinner blade or maybe I just have a crappy calipers so it's 0.12 Typical 0.12, you know, 0.118. That is uh, pretty much right on what they said. Um, they claim the blade hardness is 58 to 60 HRC. You have a drop point blade with a flat grind. Man, that flat grind goes way up there, close to the spine, which is which is really good. It means it's going to be nice and slicey. I like that. Um, a stone wash blade. You know, for a stone wash blade, it is awful... Uh, Awful, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's very consistent. I mean, I guess it is kind of stone washy if you look real close. It's a good looking blade, I'll tell you that. And then you got the Burgundy G10 with the backspacer and the lanyard hole. The, the handle thickness is 0.47 inches. And yes, it is 0.47 inches. And you get your liners are uh, they're stainless steel, obviously coated. And we have milling in there. I showed you a little bit earlier. You can see there where they're milled out on the inside. Let's see what the side looks like. Yeah, you're milled out up there. Your pivot assembly is caged ceramic ball bearings. And let's check out the pocket clip here. Yep, uh, typical Civivi pocket clip. They have a pretty good pocket clip. So your, uh, your screws, they're not poking out at all. Um, it's not, the profile isn't sticking way, way far out from the knife. That's not bad. And it is reversible. So you have a ver reversible deep carry pocket clip. Okay, so. Next, we'll check out some deployment and action. Hey, if you're still watching and you enjoy knife content and unboxings, full reviews of knives after they've been carried, used, sharpened, etc., please like this video and subscribe. And uh, I only ask once per video, so there is that. Um, deployment. What kind of options do we have here? It looks like at least a couple. Um, let me back out here a little bit for you. All right. So... Just as expected with the Civivi. And man, look at that. Just drop shut. Man. It's hard to do this horizontally and show you. You can see the blade just pops right out and then it drops really easy. That's good right there. So the deployment, very nice. It's effortless. So there's, let's see the... That doesn't feel too rough. That doesn't feel too bad. So yeah, sometimes you'll the uh, jimping on your uh, flipper tab will be a, be a little rough, but this is just enough to grab your skin. And then you've got a couple of black thumb studs, which really add to the look of it. Man, that is fast. Oop. So the thumb studs are great. Flipper tab's great, and I'm I'm sitting here trying to flip it open, holding the blade shut. Let's see. Yeah. I'm, now, can we open it with our index finger? Let's give it our first try. I doubt I'm going to. Oh, pal, right in the kisser. So using using my uh, index finger, it actually opens up just fine, really easy. There's no special technique or anything. Um, do the middle finger same thing okay so i'm really liking this action already this is reminding me of the civivi riffle just how easy it is to deploy and of course where there's there's a, just a little bit you you can grab a hold of the and i dropped the knife so as i was saying there's just a little bit there's not a whole lot to grab to open it like i do when i'm doing some close cuts that might turn out to be a two-handed operation on this knife because you can't really get in there to get a hold of it. I mean, you can, just not as easy as some other knives because your spine isn't really coming out much, much very far from the uh, from the handle, which actually gives this a, a nice slim profile. Let's check out what that profile is. So, all together, the, the 
widest point, 1.2 inches. So, you know, and you compare that with a, with a Spyderco, your, your profile in your pocket is going to be not too bad at all. Um, and you, one thing that I always forget, and when I'm going over how many ways can you open this knife, is, uh, you know, some people actually sometimes like to open their knife with two hands. So you can add that to pretty much all of them, except for the Civivi button lock elementum. So the action is really great. Um, the detent, so on, on closing it, you get past just that little point there, and it's, it's ready to drop. I think the detent is tuned just right on this. I love, I love to be able to reverse flick, and this knife has, this has pretty much all the options. So I'm gonna be flipping the heck out of this thing. That is really nice. Love the action so far. I don't have any complaints with that. All right, uh, let's see. Let's do some size comparisons for you. Here we have, get in up and closey for you. So here is the Spyderco Manix 2. Give you an idea. And here is the Spyderco Tenacious. So your blade length is is going to be good. I mean, as far as sharpened edge, you have more than the Tenacious and definitely more than the Manix too. So it's got a nice, nice amount of sharpened edge there. And let's do a few here. Here is the Civivi. And you know, like talking about the action, the action on this thing, you know, the blade just pretty much shuts itself with just a little bit. It drops. I love this knife. So there is the riffle, very similar in size. The blades are similar, except for your uh, thumb hole, but your overall cutting length is about you know about the same. And they, man, the, if you want a couple a, a knife, one of these Civivis, the the action of these two is just unbelievable. Here is the QSP Penguin. Size comparison: a lot of folks have the Penguin. So there's those two, and what else we have here? There's the Civivi Ortis, which I thought had a pretty nice long blade, and it does, but the finger choil is taking away some of the uh, cutting edge. A knife that a lot of people have is Kershaw Leak. Leak. So that gives you an idea for size comparison there. And we'll do one more, the QSP Hawk, which has an amazing action. So there's those. Any of these knives that uh, that I've shown here, I do have a video up. Um, all of them, I think, but maybe the leak. All right. <clears throat> Took the main star out of the out of the video. There we go. If you guys want to get a hold of me, um, you can get a hold of me on Instagram at Bees Blades. I can. You can also do an email, beesblades at gmail.com. I will be at Blade Show 2021. So I am excited about that. I am really stoked to see what's gonna be there. And oh my gosh, it's going to be knife overload for me. I am really excited and I'm gonna let you guys know anything I find, what's coming out, what, what's going on in the knife world. I'm really excited about Blade Show. Um, <clears throat> let's see, let's look at our liner lock here. It's our lockup percentage. I would say about 30%. And it's gonna it's gonna wear in a little bit with time, but my goodness, the action! I can't I can't stop, stop talking about the action. Ergos. So overall, let me see. Am I feeling any sharp points? Man, not too bad. So the the edge of the po pocket pocket uh, what is this lanyard hole? The edge of the lanyard hole is just a tad i mean it's not enough for me to i just barely have to mention it you can feel the lanyard hole is a tad sharp just a tad other than that um i'm feeling the pocket clips but they're not bad either you got your jimping up here which is i don't want my jimping smooth where i have to push i do want it to get my skin just a little bit so 
give you a look there real close. The jimping's really nice. It grabs grabs your skin just enough and pow. So I don't have any problems with that. Let's see how it feels. Yeah, right along right along the line with the other Civivis. I mean, it's just it's not it's not hurting my hand. I am feeling the pocket clip just a little bit. Not too bad, but I'm feeling it. And you it has a small choil that you you can choke up here if you want to do some close cutting. So it does have a, a small amount of choil up there. But the thumb studs work great on the spine. Looks really nice. It's the edges are all softened on this. So overall, let me give you a nice and close look here. There's your sharpened edge. That is an attractive knife. Uh, you know, I, most of my knives are are the black G10 or uh, I'm trying to expand my horizons with uh, a couple colors. I, you know, obviously, obviously the black always looks good on a knife. But um, let's check out the hardware, uh, what we have here. Definitely T8. So your body screws are going to be T8s and T6 for the pocket clip, which is pretty much par for the course, except for uh, it is nice that Civivi has T8 body screws. And uh, the only thing is T6 is the pocket clip. So that's, that's pretty nice. So let's cut a couple things and see if it has a sharp edge. Here is some cardboard. It's kind of hard to do cardboard on film, but oh man. Now see, you guys have seen me cut a few other things and you can kind of tell even on camera if I'm having to give it some umph or not. And this, it is really, really smooth. I'm just put it pretty much just using these two fingers here. It is really smooth. Man, yeah, okay, I'm liking this knife. Of course, I'll come back with a full review after I've used it, sharpened it, and all that good stuff. And le the leather test, heavy duty. This is some thick leather. Let's see how it feels coming going through the leather. Oh, wow. Okay, now that is telling me something. It is not screaming through the leather. I mean, it, of course it's cutting it. Let me try something else here. Get a comparison, I use a couple other knives. <clears throat> yeah, that one was tough. So coming back to the brazen. It is sharp, but you know what? I don't think it's the edge geometry. I don't think it's the geometry of the blade. I think the problem here, yeah, the problem we have, not, I mean, it's not a problem. The issue I'm having cutting through the lever, leather, and which is always indicative of the edge, is this edge needs touched up. Did not come that sharp. I mean, it's sharp. I can feel it trying to grab my, uh, you can see right here. So I can go in a little bit. You can see it, it's grabbing my skin. It's just, from here down, it's not that sharp at all. So, out of the box, this one, which I'm very surprised, is not super sharp. But it's not the end of the world because I can put an edge on it, no problem. No problem at all. Tell you what, one more thing before we start wrapping it up. Let's check out the behind the edge here. So, yeah, behind the edge, we're at point, uh, point zero one two. So that's good. That, that shows you this is a nice, nice thin 0.14 there. So nice thin blade stock. Edge just needs to be touched up. Not too much, but it, it needs a little improvement right out of the box. And that's just this, this just my example. You know, this is my, just one knife out of the bunch. So overall, um, things I like about it uh, right off the bat, the action is absolutely great. Um, I haven't really come up with any areas of concern. Um, maybe somewhere in here, I'm feeling a, a little bit on my hand, but other than that, it's comfortable. I have large hands, so it gives you an idea. There's plenty of handle, plenty of handle for cutting. You can, you can choke up. 
Um, I like this knife so far. I don't really have much bad to say about it whatsoever. I like the look of it. I like the blade geometry. Um, well, there's our first look at the Civivi Brazen in the Sandvik Steel. And let me zoom in here a little bit. Just uh, remember to always drop by and if you want, hit that bell button so you don't miss when I pop up a new video. And I'm excited about Blade Show. I'm hoping I can share that with you guys, share some experience and what I, what I get to see. Uh, it's uh, really exciting for me. So I want you all to have a great day and do me a favor. Don't cut yourself.